Welcome to my Lit Product Project Pan update number two. I really need to work through lip products. I have so many, so this is a project to focus on them. This month, I finished up two and I'm so excited. The one that we really didn't focus on or work on is the little LAQA little lip in fire. Just looks like this. I don't have a ton left, but I definitely didn't push it at all this month. One I feel like I'm making progress on and I absolutely love this color I'm finding. I, it is my favorite. It is the, the Prestige Lip Liner in Honeysuckle. I love this color. It with my skin tone and like, I love it. I love it. I need other lip products like this. I need to see if I have other lip products like this color because I am in love with it now. But this is where we're at. We've made progress. I've sharpened it quite a bit and I put it on any chance I get. The other one I've made lots of progress on by putting it in my makeup drawer was the Pixi Pink Lip Balm. We only have that much left. I feel like maybe by next update we can finish it. I put it on every morning when I'm doing my makeup, after I brush my teeth sometimes. Like I've been trying to use this so much because I do really like the formula of it and it has a lovely vanilla smell, always has. I do not like this color on me. It, this is not the color for me. This is, it's not. And it makes my teeth look yellow. Not a fan. The two lip products that I finished was a lip gloss. This is the Wet Slicks Amazement in Unwind. If you've been on my channel for a while, you know that I have, I think four more of these, but I love, love, love this color. I'm realizing I'm not a huge fan of bright, dark lips. This, however, is the exception. I don't know. Every time I put this on by itself, I love the way it looks, no matter what my face is looking like. So I'm really excited to have this finished. If you watched either my introduction or my update, then you know I'm going to add in another one. And I made a list of all of my older lip glosses. So I'm going to randomly generate two of the numbers and we're gonna pick between those two. So, so as I said, there are four more of these, so they could be, so I could work on another one of these. One through 10, let's see, 10 and six. 10 is CoverGirl Shine Blast in Smolder, and six is CoverGirl Wet Slicks Amazement in Peachy Pink. So this was an unwind, so it's the same one, just a different shade. So I'm gonna go get both of those and we'll pick one. So if you missed it, they're both CoverGirl. One of my friends gave me a whole box of CoverGirl makeup years and years and years ago, and I tried to pass it out to my friends, but there were certain ones like that unwind that everyone was scared of, or I was just a lot. So I ended up with a lot of CoverGirl. <laughs> the first one that I picked was a Shine Blast in Smolder. As you can see, I worked on it. There's quite a bit gone of it. So I think this would be an easy give me. And then there is the CoverGirl Wet Slicks Amazement in Peachy Pink. This one would be just so easy to throw on. I'm going to cheat and wait just a moment to decide. <laughs> I say that because I also finished up a lipstick. So I wanna see what lipstick I'm gonna be working on to see if one of those matches better because I'm very torn. The lipstick I finished was the Revlon Lip Butter in Raspberry Pi. I liked the formula. The color was just a little too bright for me. I don't think they make these anymore, but I would definitely go for a more muted color if I got something like this again. We're gonna go ahead and pick the two. How many of these do I have? I have 18. Oh, fun. It is 18 and the second one is 17. Oh, it wasn't very random. 17 and 18. One is the, oh, here are the two. Are you ready? Maybelline Color Burst in Shocking Coral or the L'Oreal Color Burst in Caramel Comfort. Are they both color burst? Do L'Oreal and Maybelline have color burst? We'll find out and I'll let you know. It was definitely not a L'Oreal color burst. It was a L'Oreal Color Riche Balm in Caramel Comfort. So that's how much of this I have left. And then Shocking Coral, as you might imagine, is a bright coral shade. I think for lip gloss, I'm gonna go with the CoverGirl in Smolder. And then I'm going to be adventurous and try Shocking Coral. 
I'm going to try and use up the Maybelline Color Burst in Shocking Coral. It is old, the older of the two and I just think it needs to be worked through. It is super bright, but I'm hoping this smolder can kind of lessen it. We will see how these look together, but I'm excited. We're gonna, we're gonna jump into spring. We're gonna jump into spring and go to coral. We'll see, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. So these are my five lip products we're gonna be working on now. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you're doing a lip product project pan. I'd love to follow along. I have so many lip products I need, we, I need to work through. So having motivation from others would be lovely. So I hope you all have a wonderful day.